Today on Technical Difficulties, the Android Saga. Well, for me, it was probably the second year of college. I mean, I'd started off as a philosophy major, and then I'd sort of moved over into media studies, and I just kind of think the whole academic experience just wasn't working out overall. I needed something more, you know, something more, um... Uh, yes, yes, adventure. Adventure is what I really needed. Something with a lot more, um... What's the word I'm looking for? Ah, yes, of course, duh. Action. So I dropped out of college and bummed around for a bit, but eventually I found my way to the Action Agents Academy. And let me tell you, it was no picnic. I was put through some of the most rigorous mental and physical training available, and it nearly broke me. And then it did break me. But you know what? No regrets whatsoever. I made some good friends there, and as we always say at the Action Agents, you don't let a little thing like physical limits or total insanity stand in your way. And God knows I haven't. Oh, 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 please, please, you flatter me. You know, speaking of flattery, I have to say that when I roll down the window of that submarine and, you know, ask you for directions and all, uh, well, I knew dolphins were intelligent, but I didn't know how intelligent you really were. Not after having a long conversation with you like this. I didn't know it was so warm and relaxing and beautiful and blue and well lit down here and... All that angelic music would be playing. I thought for sure that I would have to have some kind of underwater breathing apparatus, but you know, turns out none of those things are true. Hm. What you don't learn. Yup. Chad Blasterman! He's about three seconds away from drowning. All I'm saying is that when something starts with tonight or today on such and such episode, it seems like it's coming attractions of something that's going to happen later on. Not that you just launch straight into the show. I think it's a misuse of the term. I don't know. I think most people wouldn't have even noticed unless you pointed it out to them. I don't know about that. Um, let's ask Athena. You're a highly intelligent and extremely attractive disembodied AI voice. What do you think? Yeah, you're clearly the smartest one here and therefore most qualified to answer these sort of questions. Now, Leonard, Steve. Are you two trying to butter me up in the hopes that I'm going to spill some sort of information about this installation and its owners? What? We wouldn't dream of it. Yeah, you're way too clever to see through a ridiculously lowbrow ruse like that. <laughs> I'm going to ignore that and continue on with the tour like the good professional that I am. Now, this is facilities and administration and experimentation where we run the computer nerve center at Bathysphere Station 5. Over there are high-definition monitors, there are supercomputers lining the wall, and those tanks... Behind them against the wall are definitely not where we keep people who are having android doubles made out of them. Did I say that out loud? You know, the toughest part about being a synthetic intelligence is you can't tell if your internal monologue is happening externally. Good God, Steve, she's right! I know! I can't tell the difference either. My internal and external monologues are constantly flipping. Maybe I really am an android after all. No, that can't possibly be true. Or maybe it is. What are those flashing lights on the wall anyway? All right, keep it together, Steve. Focus. You know, these macadamia white chocolate chip cookies are awfully good. Maybe I could ask for some more. But I thought I was allergic to gluten. Do ducks have teeth? Is your friend okay? No, but this is normal for him. Steve, snap out of it and look around the room, okay? Look at all these tanks. There must be a hundred of them. Yeah, look at these names on this computer screen here. Barack Obama, Elon Musk, Kylie Jenner, Taylor Swift. It's like a who's who of famous people. They're all here. They've all been kidnapped. And they've all been turned into androids. Oh, you figured out the secret before I could drop any hints. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I... I mean, is that bad? Well, yes. I mean, you ruined the surprise. And also, protocol says that now you know the secret, I have to kill you. Steve, those are gun turrets. This is a trap. Athena, you tricked us! I swear I didn't! I just wanted to give you the complete tour of the place! It's just that when you got to this room, you would know too much and I'd have to kill you. That is not very professional tour guide behavior. Will Leonard and Steve escape from this precarious situation? Will Chad Blasterman drown while talking to a dolphin? Find out tomorrow on Technical Difficulties, the Android Saga.